I had thought and hoped Florence was a Tom like me. But here she was, married, with a child, and so stern and serious and thoughtful. He was kinder to me than she was. And there was nothing more in it than kindness. I was sure of that. Gentle as Jesus he was. And her working, working for her friendless girls, no doubt. And never looking at the friendless girl who lay in her armchair, almost too weak to move. So you're feeling better in the morning. Good night, and thanks for all your kindness. You do understand, don't you, that it's just for one night? I won't do to have you stay any longer. If the girls at the hostel heard about it, they'd all be clamouring that she can stay with the family, then why shouldn't we? Yes, I can see that, I suppose. Now, have you got everything you need? Heavy's out back, as you know. Ralph will be up and out of the house by six. I'll get up a bit later. But you'll have to leave the house when I do at eight. You do understand that? Yes. You've been so kind to me when really you hardly know me at all. And your husband. Good night, then. I don't feel so well this morning. Well, I'm sorry, but you can't stay here. I must go to work and I must go now. If you keep me waiting any longer, I should be late. Oh, please let me stay. Just a little while till my head clears and I'll get a little strength back. You don't need to wait. I'll let myself out later. I'll be gone by the time you get home. You could trust me. I wouldn't take anything. All right, you may do as you said and let yourself out. There's precious little to steal here anyway. Now, I've made you a list of places you might find a bed in, and some places where you might find work. Oh, and Ralph left you this half crown. He says goodbye. And good luck. He's so good. Now, I'm trusting you. Don't let me down. Hello. Hello. Who are you? Just a friend of the family. I was down on my luck and they let me stay the night. Yeah, that's them. Always doing things for other people. Her banner and her brother. They've got no time to look after themselves. He's her brother. But I thought they were man and wife. So, little Sue. No, nothing like that. He belonged to another girl, their previous lodger. Oh. Then, I knew what I should do. I would make myself indispensable. I would make myself the angel of the house. will be my new home. It will.
I'm Mang, Ashley. I'm just visiting here for a while. You've been making your presence felt. I've never seen it so tidy. Thought I'd come in the wrong house. Yeah, I'll well, come to drop these leaflets off. I'll right? tell Flory. I'm Annie. Annie Price. Bet you can't guess what I do for a living. Chimney sweep? Hey, you're not far off. I don't crawl up chimneys, I crawl down drains. Yeah. I'm a sanitary inspector. It's the stinkiest job in London and I love it. Mm, lovely smell, what is it? Oh, beef and oysters. I'd better see to it if you'll excuse me. Oh, hello. Yeah, I brought them like I said. Yeah, but I've got to run now and I'll be late. No, something very nice, I think. Gordon Mang. I wanted to do something for you, so I cleaned the house and made supper for you and your brother. Who told you that? The lady next door. I liked my house the way it was. Please don't be like that. Oh, Florence, please let me stay. It's not possible. Yes, it is. I could cook and clean for you like I did today. I could sleep downstairs like I did last night. I could do your washing and look after your baby boy when you were at work. My word, I never saw such a shiny doorstep. I was almost frightened to tread on it. Hello, Miss Ashley. Are you still here? And were you to thank for all this? All right, you may stay for a week. And if the week works out, we shall try it for a month. But if it doesn't work, you must go. And so I became a sort of housekeeper to them. It was the kind of work I'd never done much of before. Hard enough and dull too, you think. But it seemed like play to me. If there was only one dish that had to be served in paradise, it would be oysters. No, beef and oyster pie for me, but well, oysters definitely. And it would be a socialist paradise, of course. Equal shares for all. And who would be there with you to share it? Well, in paradise, 